Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we'll see the new animation in One UI 4.0 on Samsung S21 Plus, and we will compare it to the animation on iPhone 13 with iOS 15.2. For a better comparison, I will also compare it with the animation on the previous One UI, which is One UI 3.1. Okay, now let's just see how the animation looks in One UI and in iOS. For the first comparison, let's open the widget that was in the previous version of One UI 3.1. When closing the widget, you can see the animation will return to the center of the screen. and doesn't return to the widget position at the top. And when comparing it to the latest version of One UI 4.0, when we close the widget, it will return to the widget position. Then when we look at animations on iPhone 13 with the latest iOS 15, the animation when exiting the widget looks almost like the animation in One UI 4.0 version, although it's not exactly the same. For more details, you can see the comparison here when opening and closing the Wither app in One UI 3.1 and in One UI 4.0 as well as in iOS 15 version. You can see the differences more clearly when we compare one by one like this. Next, we will compare the appearance of the animation when opening the notification panel in One UI 3.1 and One UI 4.0. For the look of animation when we compare it directly like this, it actually looks not much different and still looks the same as the previous version. As for the animation on iPhone, it looks like there is a little jiggle effect at the end. The animation differences in One UI 3.1 and One UI 4.0 looks the same, but when repeating it several times, it looks like the animation in One UI 4.0 is a little smoother at the end of the animation, especially when opening the notification panel. Although at first glance there is not much differences. Then we will see the difference in the appearance of the notification panel in dark mode. When in dark mode, the notification panel display in the latest One UI 4.0 looks darker and the transparency level also looks decreased than the previous version of One UI 3.1. In One UI 3.1, the icons on the back are still visible, while in One UI 4.0, the dark color is darker and more black. For the appearance of dark mode in iOS 15 version, it looks much different than One UI version. On the dark mode, there is no black color in the background at all, but the background is only slightly dimmed. Next, let's see the new dark mode display in the lock screen. The widget display that appears when we double tap on the clock in the lock screen menu, now looks darker in dark mode version in One UI 4.0, whereas in the previous version, the color was more grayish. And when comparing it with the notification center display in dark mode on iOS, there is no dominant black color at all in dark mode. Then let's see a comparison when opening and closing application directly from the home screen. Let's start with One UI 3.1 and compare it with One UI 4.0 version. Then let's also compare those two with iOS version. Here if we compare one by one in One UI 3.1 and One UI 4.0 versions, the animation when exiting the application in One UI 4.0 looks smoother and more like the animation when closing the application in iOS. The animation just looks different when opening and closing the camera app faster like this. You can see the difference when opening the application multiple times quickly, the animation when closing the application feels smoother in iOS version. However, when looking at the closing apps animation in other applications besides the camera application, the animation looks much smoother than when opening or closing the camera application. And the new animation in One UI 4.0 now gets better as compared to the previous One UI 3.1 version. The animation looks smoother and quite similar to the animation in iOS version. For more details, you can check here when we compare the animation on the home screen by opening each application one by one. Here you can see more clearly when we compare one by one like this when opening the application on the home screen. When opening and closing the camera application in One UI, the animation looks quite responsive and fast. But the animation looks a little slower and not as responsive as before when we open it repeatedly like this. And if we compare it to the animation when opening and closing the camera application on iOS, it looks much smoother than the One UI version. Next, let's see a comparison of animation in the recent apps menu. In the recent apps menu, when we comparing One UI 3.1 with One UI 4.0, the animation looks smoother and also has better improvement in One UI 
even though the animation difference is not too significant and doesn't look too much different. But when checking and comparing directly like this, you can see that the animation in One UI 4.0 is slightly smoother than the previous One UI 3.1. But if you compare it to iOS 15, it's not as smooth as in iOS 15, except maybe if you use the good lock feature and change the task changer menu. Then let's see the animation when quickly moving applications from one application to another with motion gestures at the bottom of the screen. When switching application using motion gestures in One UI 4.0, the movement looks smooth. And when comparing it to the animation when moving between apps using gestures in iOS 15, it appears that the movement is very smooth in iOS 15. And in One UI 4.0, you can also use the same gestures like this to switch between applications, but it looks not as smooth as in iOS 15. If you switch apps normally without moving too fast like this, maybe the difference is not too significant. However, when trying an extreme test by moving application faster like this, the difference in the smooth of the animation immediately feels different. Next, let's see a comparison when activating the auto rotation feature on the smartphone display while watching YouTube videos. It looks like the animation is not different when changing videos from portrait to landscape mode in One UI 3.1 and One UI 4.0. The animation looks the same without any significant changes. However, this animation looks much different in iOS version. The rotation of the video in One UI version move fast without any transitions like in iOS version. In iOS version, you can see there is a clear transition that shows where the video is moving. Then let's see a comparison when switching to picture in picture mode while watching YouTube videos. Unlike the animation in the auto rotation, when switching from picture in picture to full screen mode, it looks quite clear that there is a transition in One UI 4.0. So when we go to the full screen mode, the video display looks like it immediately moved to the top. In iOS version, the animation looks a little different with longer duration. Because the video first moved to the middle and then you will see an animation effect jumping to the top. And for the animation when switching from full screen to picture in picture mode, it looks pretty much the same in One UI and iOS version. In addition to the same animation, the curved edges on the picture-in-picture -picture mode on One UI 4.0 are also now quite similar to the display in iOS 15. Previously, the picture-in-picture -picture display in One UI 3.1 version, there was no curved part at the edges. And in the latest version, it looks like a little more interesting with curved edges that follow the shape of the widget on the home screen. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and also subscribe so you'll be notified when there is a new video on your YouTube homepage. If you have any questions or comments, you can directly write them in the comments section down below or you can ask directly in our telegram channel or dm us on our instagram account at sunsetainment see you in the next video